Hello and welcome to Excel Junction. In this video, we bring to you the fastest way to print PDFs from Excel just with one click. Whether you want to print a worksheet from your Excel file or the entire workbook, whether you want to print only a selected range from your worksheet or a selected number of worksheets, whatever be the requirement, printing to PDFs can't get faster than this. So let's have a look at our workbook which is a seasonal photo calendar comprising of 12 worksheets, each one displaying the respective month. Now say we want to print only the first month that is January to a PDF. Let's go to EJ tools tab where you'll find a few buttons within print to PDF group. This is a tool that we've developed and is available for free download from our website. The download link is provided in the video description. Now within the print to PDF group, click on active worksheet. You'll observe that a window opens asking you to select folder and file name to save with default file name being shown as sheet name that is January underscore the current date in DDMMYY format that is date month and year format then underscore and time in HHMM that is hour and minute format so we can retain this name with timestamp or change it as per our requirement further this PDF by default will get saved in the same folder in which the Excel file is saved this can also be changed as per requirement but for now we retain the defaults and click on save. The saved file opens automatically and we can see the printed PDF carrying the calendar for January 2021. Simultaneously there was a confirmation prompt of the PDF file being created. If there's any issue there'll be an error prompt instead of the confirmation. Taking the next example where we want to print the entire workbook to PDF. Let's click on active workbook within print to PDF group. You'll observe that the same select folder and file name window opens with default file name as workbook name that is seasonal photo calendar underscore the file format that is XLSX then underscore the current date in DDMMYY format, then underscore again and time in HHMM format. We'll save it with the default name in the same folder, just like we saved the worksheet previously. Once we click save, the saved PDF opens automatically and it carries the entire workbook contents. So here we can see the entire calendar from Jan to December 2021. Please note here that any blank sheets within the workbook won't get printed. So with this uh, we've seen how to print an active worksheet and an active workbook to PDF. Now let's say we need to save only a selected area within a worksheet as a PDF. Assuming we need to uh, save only the first week of January. So we'll select our preferred range of cells and click on selection within the print to PDF group here. The window opens with default file name as sheet name that is January underscore the current date in DDMMYY format then underscore and time in HHMM format. After we save it, the printed PDF opens carrying only the first week of January as we desired. I'm very sure you'll find this print to PDF tool very useful and to know how you can get this tool working on your spreadsheets. Just hang on to the video till the end. We'll take another instance where we need to print only a few worksheets to PDF and not all the worksheets present. So let's say we need to print calendar for June to August months. 
we'll select the three months that is june july and august by pressing control on our keypad and clicking on the respective sheet tabs once selected just click on active worksheets and save now on the pdf you can see the calendar for june to august Now that we've discussed what this tool does, I'd also like to show you the regular way to save Excel as PDF, which uh, many of you would already be knowing. So here we need to go to a uh, file, save as, browse, change save as type to PDF, and then look for options. If you want to print the entire workbook or any selection within the worksheet and then click on OK and save. So you see this involves 9 to 10 clicks to get a document printed to PDF. Even if you are well versed with Excel shortcuts etc, you can only reduce a couple of clicks. But those users who need to very frequently print PDF reports or invoices from Excel our print to PDF Excel add-in is a great time saver. It's available as a free download from our website. The link is provided in the video description. It is just a one-time setup which will not take more than a minute, after which it will be visible on all your active workbooks. Once you've downloaded, you just need to follow the steps on how to install the add-in, which is covered in detail in the next section. It's extremely simple and the installation or usage doesn't require any advanced knowledge of Excel or VBA or anything. Just keep in mind that unlike uh, any other add-ins which we have presented previously, this one has three files within the zip file. That is active worksheet, active workbook and selection. And these three files have to be installed separately. In the upcoming section, we have explained the process to install one add-in. So you will just need to repeat the process two more times. Add-ins are programs which are added to Excel in such a way that they appear to be a part of Excel itself and helps you save a lot of time on repetitive tasks. They're an extension to macros or VBA codes and once you have installed it, it's available to all open workbooks without the need to open any other workbook or file to make this run. If you understood this, great. If you didn't, not an issue at all. It's not important. However, the upcoming part is important and needs your attention. Excel add-ins can be installed very easily in just a few steps. Here we are using the example of change text case add-in. You may apply the same steps to install any other add-in which you download from our website. First, you need to open the Microsoft Excel add-ins folder on your computer. To locate this folder, click the developer tab on the Excel ribbon. If the developer tab is not visible, just go to the file tab, then go to options. Customize ribbon. Under customize the ribbon, you can see main tabs. Just select the developer checkbox and click on OK. This is just a one time setup and will stay visible when you open any workbook next time. Now you can click the add ins command and in the add ins window, Select any add-in in the list and click the browse button. That will open the browse window at the add-ins folder. Right click on the path at the top of the browse window and click copy address as text. Now click cancel to close the browse window and click cancel again to close the add-ins window. Then open Windows Explorer by clicking Windows key 
plus e and paste the copied address into the address bar then press enter now you can place the add-in zip file in this folder that is the file you downloaded from our website and once you've copied it to this folder simply unzip it to extract the add-in file it will have a dot xlam extension usually they are installed in excel's default folder for add-ins and we are also using the default folder however if you want you can also use a different folder for the same next we'll see how to activate the add-in on the ribbon click the developer tab click the excel add-ins button in the add-in dialog box add a check mark to add-ins name if not already checked if you do not see the add-in in the list click the browse button navigate to the folder where you saved the .xlam file and select the add-in file click ok to close the window and with this the excel add-in has been activated we will now see how to create our own tab that is ej tools tab by quickly customizing the ribbon as per our convenience and placing our favorite add-ins under this simply right click on the ribbon and select customize the ribbon from the context menu which will open up the excel options dialog window in the customize the ribbon window under the list of tabs click the new tab button which will add a custom tab to the ribbon with a custom group as commands can only be added to custom groups now select the newly created tab named new tab custom and click the rename button and then type e j tools in the same manner change the default name given by excel to the custom group you can also select an icon from the symbol box now in the list under customize the ribbon select the target custom group in the choose commands from drop down list on the left select macros now click the macro you want to add and click the add button once again click the rename button and change the display name to give an appropriate name and also assign a related icon from the symbol box click ok to save the changes now you can go to the tab and check if the add-in was correctly added to the desired group within the tab yes the add-in is at the desired place now let's check if it's functioning yes and you're good to go hope you found this uh, video useful if yes please do not hold yourself back from hitting the like button and posting your feedback if you face any difficulty in setting this up kindly let us know in the comment box and we'll try resolving it for you thanks for watching